Hey everyone, it's Pilar again. I'm back for my second installation of a YouTube video uh, makeup tutorial. I just want to say thank you for all of you that um, offered such kind words and sent me really nice emails and motivated me and inspired me to keep on going. So today we are going to talk about uh, a simple quick shadow um, for your eyelids. I know that we talked about a bold lipstick before and I have more bold lipsticks for you guys to explore but today we're going to be talking about how to apply a quick shadow um, using two colors. Let's start with basics. Um, we will slowly work up to the smoky eye but today we are going to be talking about a quick shadow application. So the first thing that I think is important in applying eyeshadow is your eyeshadow base. Now it is not a necessity and it's not imperative that you use an eyeshadow base. However, it does neutralize um, the eyelid area and it does cancel out some colors. It mattifies the eye area and it just helps the eyeshadow adhere to your eyelid. So this would be great for someone who wakes up super early in the morning and applies their makeup only once a day. I guarantee you that if you find uh, the right eyeshadow base for you, you will no, you won't. <laughs> you won't turn back. So, anyway, the first uh, step is using your eyeshadow base. And I lost it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. So the eyeshadow base that I like to go to is the Laura Mercier eyeshadow base. Um, this doesn't have a particular color. I mean, they do have particular colors, but I can't seem to find um, the color on this one. I like to place it on my hand, if you can see that, dab it with your concealer brush, and apply. So throughout the whole eyelid is key, it neutralizes any type of colors you might have, if you can see the difference already between um, my two eyelids. Now normally um, when you are applying your eyeshadow, I know that typically a lot of people um, sell eyeshadows in quads, um, that's four colors, or in five colors, and today I have committed to you that I am going to give you a quick shadow uh, tutorial with only two eyeshadow colors. So I have picked out two colors that are um, a chocolate brown, and more of their earth tones, so they're really nice for every day. So here is your chocolate brown color. And let's do the color next to it. So that's like a heather mauve color. Now, um, the eyeshadow that I'm using today is by Trish McAvoy. Trish McAvoy uh, is a well-known makeup artist that has a makeup line and the beautiful thing about Trish McAvoy is that she came up with these planners um, which basically they look like old school planners that we all used to carry well some of us used to carry in high school and basically they come with sheets so you would apply you would um, put this in your planner and that way you can take it with you um, as you travel that's my little infomercial on Trish McAvoy go check it out she has really nice colors so the first color that I want to apply on my eyelid is this dark chocolate brown color. Now, the thing is, is typically if you were going to be applying more colors, I would suggest starting out with um, a neutral color, more of like a base color um, on top of your eyeshadow base. But since you have an eyeshadow base, we're going to start with like the chocolatey color. So dab it, dab your brush. This is the Chanel eyeshadow brush and I can't even remember what number this is if you guys love it inbox me and I will find out the number because I'm sure I have more so you want to start by applying your shadow closest to the lash line now I know this is contrary to probably how you were taught to apply shadow but this is the quickest way to achieve a great shadow look in minutes. So you want to apply this closest to your lash line from your inner corner all the way to your outer corner 
halfway onto your eyelid. So as you can see, halfway, um, half of your eyelid has shadow. And it looks very natural in application. Now you can deepen um, the application on your eyelid, but just for saving time purposes, we're going to do it quickly. And basically your second color, this Heather Mauve color, you want to blend it right above. So the importance to blending it right above is you don't want to show that there is much space or that there is a line that separates the two shadows. If you can see how nicely that blended. Again, just simply two colors, a chocolate brown color and a mauve color um, above it. Now, the third, no, excuse me, the fourth step in this process is applying your eyeliner. Now, one of my go-to eyeliners is the Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner. It is a roll-up pencil in espresso. And the reason why I like this eyeliner is because it really glides on easy. From the shape of my eye, I mean basically, for the shape of my eye, if I put on a regular you know, pencil eyeliner in the morning, I come back home looking like I left the house with a smoky eye. It just doesn't work. <laughs> so the reason why I love the espresso or the, the waterproof eyeliner in Chanel is that it really does stay in place. However, because it stays in place, you have to work with it quite uh, rapidly if you do want to smudge it. And you're able to smudge it. So I also like that aspect. And it glides on. I probably could keep it like that. Um, but what I like to do is just run the darkest eyeshadow that you used on your eyelid. Just dab a little bit of that color on top of the eyeliner, and that makes your eyeliner stay as well. So if you haven't already noticed, I'm all about the longevity of makeup application and making it last. So I like to add just that chocolate brown color on top of your eyeliner. And then you can also do the bottom of your to give it a little bit of depth. Do you see the depth and contour? <laughs> Lastly, you want to apply your mascara. From the base of your lashes, extend all the way to the outer part of your lashes. So if you can see uh, two colors that were used, a chocolate brown color halfway on your eyelid, starting from the base of your lash line all the way to the center part of your eyelid. And then you want to blend with a lighter color. You can also use a third color to give a little bit more highlight on your brow bone, but because I've committed to you that we're only using two colors, we're only going to use two colors. And lastly, your gloss. This is uh, the Chanel Glossomer in number 63. It's called Pagoda, and I really love it. I love all of their glosses, actually. A little bit of contour for your cheek. What kind of tutorial would this be if I didn't give you a little bit of contour? And that, my friends, is your quick shadow application tutorial by me, yours truly. So I hope to hear from you all and have continued support from each of you. Thanks, and see you again.